Hello guys, welcome to unit 4 of the economic for engineers. In this video, we will uh, focus on the cash flow and the rate of return analysis. These concepts help engineers to access the project profitability, manage the investment returns and make the informed decisions. We will cover the important topics such as the salvage value treatment, annual cash flow analysis and the internal rate of return and more. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to analyze the financial alternatives and choose the best option for your projects. Okay. At first, the calculation in the cash flow and the rate of return analysis. In the cash flow analysis, you calculate the total inflows and outflows over a project's life. This helps to track the profitability. The net present value NPV method calculates the today's value of the future cash flows using a discount rate. Positive NPV indicates the pro profitability. The rate of return analysis helps to assess the whether a project's return exceeds the required rate or not. Engineer also use the future oath or present oath analysis for the for this purpose. These calculations guide the decision making by showing the financial viability of the engineering projects. So now the treatment of salvage value. The salvage value is the residual value of an asset after its useful life. It's included in cash flow analysis as the final inflow. In accurate calculation of the salvage value is essential as it affects the overall the profitability of the project. This value helps to reduce the total cost over the asset's life. Okay, so salvage value is the usually considered in the last year of the cash flow diagram. Engineer also factor in the depreciation when calculating the salvage value. This ensures that the assets are valued correctly at the end of their use in a project. So now the annual cash flow analysis. Annual cash flow analysis measures the net cash flow every year during a project's life. It shows how much cash flow in and out yearly, offering a detailed view of the project health. This is essential for comparing the project with different time periods or investment skills. Engineers use this to monitor the financial stability and make adjustment. Projects are steady, positive, cash flow are more sustainable. It also helps in identifying years with potential cash shortage. Annual cash flow analysis helps to determine the long term project feasibility. Internal rate of return. The internal rate of return is the discount rate that makes the net present value of the cash flow zero. In simpler term, the IRR is a project's expected return rate. If the IRR exceeds the required rate of return, the project is considered profitable. Engineers use the IRR to compare the different investment options. Higher rate of internal rate of return means a more profitable project. The internal rate of return is commonly used when, the, when selecting between multiple alternatives. Internal rate of return can also help to decide whether to proceed with expansions or upgrades. So now the incremental analysis. The incremental analysis compares the differences in the cash flows between two or more alternatives. This method helps engineers to find the option that offers the highest additional benefits. For example, engineers might compare the cost of upgrading equipment versus the replacing it entirely. The alternative with the greater incremental net benefit is chosen. This analysis also helps when comparing the new technologies or construction methods. Okay. It is useful in determining which option provides the best financial outcome. Incremental analysis simplifies the 
decision making between the complex options okay so now the best alternatives choosing an analysis method choosing the best analysis method depends on the project goals engineer often use the npv the irr or the benefit cost ratio npv focus on the current cash flows while internal rate of return shows the return rate also the benefit cost ratio compares benefit to cost each method provides the different insights if a project aims for long term benefits future or analysis might be better engineer need to match the analysis method to project objectives choosing the right method helps in making the informed financial decisions okay so now future or analysis future or analysis calculate the value of the project cash flows at a specific point in the future engineers use the future or to predict the total financial benefit of a project it's useful for a project with the long life spans future or analysis provides a clear picture of how investment will grow over time this method also helps to compare the project with the different time periods engineers consider the interest rate and inflation while calculating the future worth knowing the future value helps in planning the large scale projects with the long term goals okay so now the benefit cost ratio analysis the benefit cost ratio compares the total benefit of a project to its cost a bcr greater than 1 it means the project benefits outweigh the cost making it a good investment engineers use the benefit cost ratio to evaluate both the private and public sector projects this method is particularly useful for project where the social or the environmental impacts matter for example building a dam might have high cost but greater public benefits bcr or the benefit cost ratio analysis helps in balancing the financial outcomes with the social impacts it is a key tool in the decision making okay so now the economic analysis in the public sector okay or the sensitivity and break even analysis sensitivity analysis examines how changes in the key variables like the cost or the interest rate affect the project outcomes engineers test how sensitive a project is to be unexpected changes helping the assess risk break even analysis identifies the point where the total revenues equal to the total cost simple meaning the project neither gains nor loss the money it's useful for finding out how much sales or production is needed to cover the costs so together this analysis helps the engineers to manage the uncertainties and ensure the project profitability under the different conditions so now the economic analysis in the public sector so in the public sector projects engineer focus on quantifying and valuing the both the financial and social impact public project often include benefit that cannot be measured purely in monetary terms like the environmental improvement or the public safety economic analysis in the public sector use tools like the cost benefit analysis to evaluate this broader impact engineers aim to maximize the public benefits while minimizing the cost this approach ensures that that the public funds are used efficiently and the project provides the value to the community so now that conclude the unit 4 on cash flow and rate of return analysis we have covered the essential financial analysis tools like the internal rate of return the incremental analysis and break even analysis understanding these concepts will help you to evaluate the project profitability and make the better decisions in both engineering and the public sector project stay tuned for the next unit where we will dive deeper into the economic analysis in the uncertain conditions okay